How many times has it happened when you sent an email to a professor and you never heard back? Why does that happen? Let me tell you why. Most of the times, you people send really, really bad emails. They are horrible. And no wonder why you never get response for your emails. So let me show you three examples, two examples of bad emails. And I will show you how those emails could have been written better. And then I will show you an example of a good email. Now, remember that all three emails are real emails that professors had received. This is Chaitanya Sambhara, faculty at the College of Business, University of Texas Arlington. Every single day, professors get tons and tons of emails. Okay, Most of the times, they open it. Okay, But within a fraction of a second, they know whether or not they want to respond to you. And because so many people write such horrible emails with such horrible content, with horrible grammar, Nobody wants to respond to those emails, okay? They don't want to spend any more time on you. So they will immediately delete that email or let that email become one of those emails in past that they had received. So without further ado, let me show you the first email that I had received a few months ago, okay? Okay, so let us take a look at this first email. I had received this email on August 31st, okay? So the very first problem that I notice here is to do with the first letter of the first word, at least this first letter should be capitalized okay it should be it should read as an r regarding teaching assistantship ideally speaking everything should be cap regarding and this t should be cap and this a should be also cap but at, if not at least the first letter of the first word should be capitalized okay next this student attached their resume that's fine ut id uh, i don't care about their ut id but that's fine and the name also okay now just look at this Hello, professor. Again, this P should have been capitalized. Okay. Second thing that they are missing is that they are addressing just professor. So I know that they just copy pasted that email and sent it to everybody. Right. Now, this is a bad idea. You should always individually send an email. Like you should target an email to each individual professor or else they have no interest in reading your email. Okay. Because we know that uh, you just copy pasted to everybody. You don't, you, you, you you did not even bother to find out who I am. Now, uh, what happens here is that, uh, hello professor, this is, and this student's name, and notice this, there is a period after a space right here, okay? And then there is no space between that period and I. This is absolute basic of grammar in English, okay? Anytime you write a sentence, Whenever you write a word, you end it with a period and then you give a space here and then you start your content. Okay. Again, same mistake made here as well. Okay. So the period should have been here and there should have been a space there, right here. Okay. I am in my third semester of what? You did not tell me. Okay. Next thing, my major is computer science. Okay. That is okay. And then again, the first character he whenever you say i am i should always be capitalized i am pretty much interested in working as ta okay i'm pretty much interested what does that even mean pretty much if you don't know the grammar or the language well pretty much means that i'm somewhat interested okay i'm not keenly interested this person is not saying that i'm keenly interested okay uh, none of that language is coming across and then again my GPA is 3.2, okay? Again, I would like to apply for, it should have been a TA position because uh, a teaching position is you're specifying that. In the fall 2021 semester, again, below attachment is my resume, bad grammar. You should instead say, my resume is attached with this email. Again, could you please check? Again, the same mistake and let me know if position is available or not. Thank you, professor. Okay, first of all, here should be a comma and then you should write your name, ABC, whatever your name is, okay? And then uh, you should instead say sincerely. And this, if you all want to say thank you, at least you have the decency to say thank you, okay? And whatever professor's name is. Or you don't even need to say that thank you a comma and then write your name below so this was an example of a bad email second example of another bad email would be this 
okay so uh, looks like i have not done the best of the job when i try to hide the name but at least their full name is hidden and this name smitha here is a pretty common name okay now let us uh, analyze this email first of all the person who she sent that email to his name is his last name is paralkar okay so she wrote the name wrong to begin with and then she says hope again same mistake hope h capital hope you and your family are doing well now what is wrong with this this person does not know dr paralkar at all has never met him has never communicated with him so you should never start with discussing their family okay just say that i hope you are doing well okay now hope you and your family are doing well but i would still let it go but ideally you should not bring family to a stranger then i am smita that is fine i was interacting with dr chaitanya again look at this a space between period and c is missing okay and ideally she should have written my full name okay and he suggested me connect with you again bad grammar okay he suggested that i should contact you that's what you should have said and i will uh, show an email how it could have been written to make it much better i sent you a request on linkedin for the same okay i need your guidance on few things on a few things but let it go for a second i got an offer for admission from oise now what on the earth is oise we don't know okay you should have elaborated that and then she says university of toronto for the program curriculum and pedagogy for the curriculum and pedagogy program is what she should have said okay and then she says i want to know the options for the same both in usa and canada after completing med now again she should have just elaborated on what it is and there is no such thing as med it it should have been m key m capital e capitalized and then small d masters of education that is how it is written okay and then in the end she says thanking you should have been uh, thank you or sincerely comma and her name and one more mistake she made was that she used her nickname family name uh, at gmail.com you should always write your full name okay your first name dot last name or something on those lines that is how your email should read okay now how this email could have written if i wrote this email this is how i would have written this email okay this is the email that she had written okay and this is how this email could have been written dear dr paralkar okay i hope you are doing well again notice the space my name is this and i live in whatever place you live in i was interacting with doctor in that case uh, it was me so she should have written dr chatanya space sambara yesterday he suggested to me that i reach out to you i sent you a request on linkedin for the same or uh, that is fine then i would have said i request your guidance on few things i got an offer for admission from the ontario institute for studies in education i elaborated the whole thing in brackets i write oise university of toronto for the masters program okay and then you are clearly indicating that for the masters program med in curriculum and pedagogy okay i would like to know the career opportunities for the same in usa and canada so now you are explicitly stating that you are looking for career opportunities okay and so she wants to talk to this person regarding what all options she can have once she graduates okay now in the end i write here that looking forward to hearing from you sincerely and then write your full name below this is a much better way to write an email by the way i wrote this email but this is not exactly i would have written that email but the point is that i wanted to stay truthful to the extent possible to that email that she had written okay so keeping her email format i rewrote this email and shared this email with her and by the way to this person was a senior to me by one year in college and she reached out to me and asked for help to connect her with somebody i know okay now now having seen two bad emails now let me show you a very good quality email okay now even though this email is much better than these two emails and this is an email which would definitely evoke a response from the reader but this email also has some minor issues so we will closely examine this email and i will tell you on each line 
why this is such a great email okay now this email was sent by a student a doctoral student at indiana university her name is apurva and by the way she runs a channel called we desified it's a fantastic channel one of the best channels i have seen when it comes to the quality of the content that is presented that guides youngsters who are trying to pursue their master's or phd in the united states okay so if you are looking for college applications you should definitely check this channel out called we desified okay now this email is what she had written when she was applying for american universities now let us closely examine word to word sentence by sentence okay first of all prospective look notice the capitalized p okay phd student for 2017 need information on research opportunities so the very subject line clearly tells the reader who she is and what she is looking for okay so we know that this person is being serious and therefore a professor would naturally open that email so now uh, what is going on here is that she says hello doctor doctor with the professor's last name i believe okay and look at the comma here okay now hope you are doing well perfect opening okay then see what she does i have completed ma in economics with a merit scholarship and higher first class from the university of mumbai india in may 2016 so she immediately is establishing her credibility okay that i have already finished my masters and i had a merit scholarship with a first class in graduation okay and then she says i am looking to apply for the phd program at this whatever university it is for fall 2017 now immediately when she starts that okay this is my background very brief background in one sentence which establishes her credibility and then she says that i am looking to apply for the phd program okay now after this great opening look at what she does next she immediately connects with the reader she says i have read your article and she writes the whole article's title in quotes okay fantastic job and really like your work now notice how smart this email is that i have read your paper and i really liked your work so she is immediately connecting with the person and then she says that i'm currently working in a similar area with a research project related to whatever that project was first she gave her credentials and then she connected with him and praised this person's work that she really liked this person's work and now she is saying that she is also currently working in a similar area so now the reader would be even more interested okay she is being serious she has read my paper as she claims okay now by the way you should always read the paper genuinely at least read the abstract introduction and conclusion portions at the least before you write that i read your paper and i liked it because apart from these three sections when it comes to methodology and some other sections uh, you might not understand the whole thing because you are not yet trained but at least these three sections you should always read when you claim that i have read your paper okay now uh, then she says that i am currently working in a similar area with a research project which is to be presented for an international conference at oxford in the uk in july 2017 again i have read your work i liked it i am doing similar work and not just that i also have a research paper in the same area which i am going to present so which means that she had already completed that work okay and then she says that i am going to present that paper in uk now just having read these three or four sentences what do you think the professor would do definitely take this email very seriously now by the way it does not mean that all professors would reply but the chances of a professor replying or wanting to reply after having read the first paragraph of these three four sentences is very high now then what she says is that i am also engaged in projects like whatever project this and that which also has a ugc grant okay so in this case what she could have done better is that she should have said you a uh, university grants commission in bracket ugc grant so that the other person knows what ugc is about she's assuming that the professor knows what ugc is so it is always better to elaborate okay then last year comma perfect my paper titled in double quotes 
she has written the whole title of the paper was published okay so using ugc grant she worked on research projects and that project was also published very positive sign so this clearly shows that this person is a very able researcher and is a great candidate to apply for your phd program okay now additionally looking at the new developments related to demonetization and other financial prospects now i'm becoming uh, too picky but in because likely that this email was sent to an american professor this should have been a z rather than an s demonetization okay and before i forget there is a small error that should this person made here she says that grammatically i mean i'm also engaged in projects like now projects it's a plural okay then she shows that it is plural project number one project number two okay which also has a ugc grant so which also has a ugc grant is singular so she should have written i'm also engaged in projects like project number one and project two that also had a ugc grant or also had uh, because this is in past okay so she should have said that also had that also had university grants commission in brackets ugc grant additionally looking at the new developments related to demonetization and other financial prospects for the indian economy and global trade i have developed a keen interest to study in the area of international economics so she is clearly saying that by the way you might have been working on certain projects okay i have worked on similar projects but there is this emerging area of research that i want to explore that is essentially what she is saying and that is the home run okay that is like a chakka in cricket okay because she is showing that you know what i also have certain ideas about the areas that i think should be explored okay so that will actually give a 10 on 10 for this statement and then she says hence i would like to learn about the research opportunities to study and work under your guidance sweetly written well written and she is showing respect that under your guidance i want to learn more about research opportunities okay then finally she says i'm attaching my resume with this email for your reference remember you don't know where that attachment would show up in that person's mailbox above below we don't know so unlike the first email that i showed you where this person says that the attach email is attached below right where this person says that below attachment is my resume but look at where the resume is attached above on the top okay so she is easily avoiding that confusion just saying that hence uh, sorry i am attaching my resume with this email for your reference okay now look at the ending looking forward to your reply okay or you can also say looking forward to hearing from you we either way is fine and then sincerely and then she wrote her email so now when you write an email like this look at all the things she did establish her credibility expressed interest in a sense that she first related to the professor and then noted that i have read your work and then she establishes her credibility by saying that you know what i have also uh, done similar work and i have this paper paper one paper two and then i am going to present this paper also and i have published papers already now because of all this i also have keen interest in an emerging area of research and therefore i am want to learn about research opportunities under your guidance okay this overall email is probably one of the best emails you will find now after having seen this email i would suggest that you should not copy paste this email content because most likely you do not have such a strong background as this student had okay so based on whatever your credibility is relate to that professor first establish a connection and then write a proper grammatically correct email and then the probability that you will get a response from the professor will be very high okay thank you for watching jai hind and god bless america